Sum Chien Kui. President, please be seated. The chamber is now back in session. Before the break, the chamber received an email in English from Defense Council for Nunchia requesting for the testimony of civil party to TCCP 1064. 10.64 That is to be held after the Pyumban break. And in order to clarify the matter, I'd like to hand the floor to Judge Fans to clarify this request. Judge Fans, you have the floor. Thank you, President. Uh, yes, the Nunchia team has indeed sent an email to the parties and the court alerting us to the existence of a um, previous record, the DC CAM uh, interview of the upcoming civil party, and has asked uh, to be allowed to make submissions. In order to avoid two rounds of submissions, we suggest that you make the two well, obvious submissions, one being 87.4 to admit the document and the second to postpone at the same time, then we can comment also at the same time. The floor is given to the new chair defense. Thank you, Judge Fans, and good morning, Mr. President, judges, parties, and everyone in the courtroom. Uh, yes, uh, as we said in our email, we've just discovered this new DCCAM statement of the upcoming civil party. Uh, in terms of the Rule 87.4 request, we consider the statement to be directly relevant to the case. It addresses, we haven't been able to read it in any detail, as I explained in the email, but from what we saw from a brief skim, it seems to be addressing, indeed, the topics that are at issue in the civil party's testimony and the reasons for which she was called. Um, from what we can see, the information, certain information seems to be different, so that could be interesting as well, but we haven't, as I said, looked in any detail, so I can't comment any more in that regard. Obviously, also, it's a prior written statement of the witness, so in, of the civil party, my apologies, so in that sense, we consider it to be uh, important to have in any case as background information about the civil party. Uh, in terms of postponement, Given the overlap in the material in that statement with the other material on the case file, we think it would make more logical sense that the civil party testify only after all of these statements are available to all of the parties and we can question her in one go about all of these things, especially if it's possible that there may be differences in what she said in different documents. Um, I also outlined in my email, but I'm happy to go through that again, other factors that are relevant to us in this regard. And that is, obviously, we've, we've just been notified of this document. We only have it in Khmer for the moment. It's 35 pages. We've just put it in for translation. We asked for it to be submitted back on the 29th of September, noting that uh, ITU says that they can normally do four pages a day. We've yet to hear back. 29th of September would not be a very realistic deadline in any case, but we were hoping to get it back urgently so that the parties would have it upon resumption of hearings after the Chumben break. Uh, I understand that, that language direction, Khmer to English, is outsourced, so perhaps it could be possible that it's faster. We don't know. In any case, we don't have confirmation yet from ITU about when they could have the statement back. We also understand that the Kyusum Pan team has also requested translation into French. Again, um, from what we understand, no confirmation as to when that translation could be delivered. Obviously, as I also mentioned, it happens today that our national co-lawyer is unable to be with us and also our national legal consultant is unable to be with us. So they are unable to look at the document in detail and, and or to question the civil party about that document or to uh, discuss the contents of the document with our client in any substantial way. So um, our other understanding uh, as a final point is just that given the time already, it would seem unlikely in any case that the civil party would complete her testimony today. And then obviously we're looking at a long recess, so it might make more sense if she 
would testify after the break in any case, so that there isn't this long delay between the start and the end of her testimony. I think that's all I have for the moment, Judge. Can I just ask you, you have missed it, but did I understand you correctly? Uh, information from the translation unit that they would have finished translation by 29 of September? No, my apologies, I was a bit quick. We asked for that just to try and uh, have the uh, statement back to the parties before the end of the Trumben break, and that seems to be the last working day. They haven't confirmed yet whether they can do that. Our understanding is, at least for Kumaita English, it's outsourced, so perhaps it would be possible to produce it faster than the usual four pages per day. So we don't que no, l'allure no, habituelle qui est de 4 okay. pages par jour. Donc nous Thank ne savons you. pas encore uh, quelle est la date. Je, je pense très bien, je donne la parole à la défense de Kyrgyz Fantan. Veuillez s'il vous plaît répondre brièvement aux deux, ré aux deux requêtes. Um, pour um, uh, les deux requêtes, évidemment, nous so soutenons les deux de applications. De en we notant que c'est souvent le problème teams, lorsque nous avons uh, des parties civiles, des témoins qui uh, viennent d'autres dossiers, à savoir que nous ne découvrons parfois des éléments que tardivement et que uh, ça a forcément des incidences en termes de préparation. Et là, nous sommes dans uh, le cas particulier. Donc, évidemment, uh, nous demandons uh, que... And we cannot le, prepare nous, ourselves nous, nous supportons la demande que so ce document soit versé en preuve comme une déclaration antérieure de la part civile et que euh, les parties, en tout cas la défense, je ne sais pas pour les autres, puissent avoir le temps de se préparer en fonction de ce nouvel événement. Merci. Vous avez la parole à la défense. Je ne sais pas Good morning, Your Honor. Related to the request by the Nunchi Defense Team, the lead co-lawyer for civil party do not have any objection to this matter. We have already uh, reviewed briefly the document and we thought that the document, document is somehow relevant. He, the civil party pertinent. has been uh, invited for interview with DC CAM. Therefore, our team does not have any objection. President, the floor is given to Judge Lawen. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. De This is just a request for clarification. Cette personne est partie civile dans is le that de... person a civil party in case si 000 cas, 000 je suis un peu surpris 2? And if that is the case, I am so quite surprised that the civil party lead co-lawyers did not inform us before um, and not at the last minute of the existence of this DCCAM interview. Can you please provide some explanations as to why we are hearing about this in the last minute? Uh, and we are hearing it from the Nunchia defense team and not from the civil party lead co-lawyers. Um, I have just asked the civil party Monsieur and Monsieur, I just received the information from her that she has given interview to DC CAM. So the information I learned Donc, about her interview with DC CAM, I just received it uh, quite recently. Tout juste de recevoir. I did not receive it a uh, long time ago. Une information que nous avons reçue il y a longtemps. Just une remarque. Je pense que ça serait This is mieux just a de, remark. De, I think that it would perhaps peu, uh, be better to somewhat anticipate et, uh, the de interviews of civil parties and to ask questions that may be useful for the preparation of uh, uh, this examination of a civil party. Otherwise, we wouldn't find ourselves in this situation today. Merci, Monsieur, Monsieur le Président. Juste Thank une, you, Mr. President. un complément de remarque like pour répondre aux deux questions qui avaient été posées par le juge Fens. Nous n'avons pas d'objection quant au report de l'examen de la partie civile après uh, la pause de Pchumban. Until after the Pchumban examination of civil party. Juste pour répondre au juge Lavergne, c'est un, une partie civile qui a été Lavergne's proposée question, par la Chambre. Civil party was proposed by the chamber. Uh, à la dernière minute. Donc, uh, uh, voilà. 
Mais malgré tout, c'est une partie civile, mais bien confirmée, le dossier de... Donc, euh, <rire> même si elle a été proposée so par la Chambre, il n'empêche que vous en avez été avertis. Bon, voilà, Bienvenue dans notre monde, monsieur le juge de la dame. Mrs. Giro, welcome to our world, George Lavang. Let, let's first finish this round and then um, finissons d'abord to the prosecution for both requests, please. L'accusation à la parole pour les deux requêtes. Merci, Madame la Juge. Nous n'avons pas d'objection relativement à la requête. Thanks. We do not have any objection to the application. Peut-être un élément d'explication, en tout cas, quand j'avais fait la présentation des documents, j'ai utilisé ce document, euh, le procès verbal, il y a une erreur à la base, je pense, des juges d'instruction qui l'ont identifié comme étant un témoin. Euh, le procès verbal de 3 bar 9 8 2 0, donc moi-même, je ne m'étais pas rendu compte immédiatement que c'était une partie civile dans le dossier 2. Donc, effectivement, le document euh, découvert euh, récemment, In any case, uh, that document was uh, discovered dossier, recently. We do not have it on record. Khmer, it is available only in Khmer. So we indeed are requesting that the après, uh, appearance of this civil party be postponed until after traduction next week, but quite obviously until uh, the translation uh, of that person's uh, press statement is available in both French and English. So it is only when those documents are available that we'll be able to prepare ourselves properly. We've not been able si to scan through the documents, so I don't know whether there are any variations or any, any contradictions. De, de and the weight that could be attached to such variations. So this is something that can be cross-checked only when the voilà document is made available Merci to all the parties. Juge. That is our position. Thank you, Honorable Judge. It's just an addendum. We've received information from the ITU that they cannot guarantee the delivery of the document by the 29th of September. Le président, juge Fens, je vous en prie. Juge Fens. <laughs> je rends à présent la décision sur les deux demandes. Premièrement, L'interview avec le DCCAM, tel qu'annexé au courriel, ce document est déclaré recevable en tant qu'élément de preuve en application de l'arrêt 87.4 du règlement intérieur. En bref, le raisonnement est le suivant. C'est une jurisprudence établie de cette Chambre, selon quoi les déclarations antérieures des personnes devant citer venir témoigner sont déclarés recevables de l'intérêt de la justice. Quant à l'ajournement, ici aussi, la Chambre fait droit à la demande de report de l'audition de la partie civile jusqu'à une date encore indéterminée. 
la date sera annoncée par courriel. Quant au raisonnement, en gros, nous vous renvoyons à la demande proprement dite, eu égard aussi au fait que les partis ont soit soutenu cette demande, soit n'ont pas émis d'objection. Le président. Thank you, Judge Merci, Juge Fens. The chamber will adjourn the proceedings for La today, va and we will resume after the Cuban recess. Après les vacances judiciaires and that would mean it will resume on dit, Tuesday, 4th mardi, of October, starting from 9 o'clock. And on that day, the matin. chamber will hear la chambre testimony of expert to TCE 81. 81 concernant la réglementation du mariage. Agents de sécurité, veuillez conduire les nous accusés que nous sommes en train de nous chercher au centre de l'étention des CTC et les ramener dans le prétoire le mardi 4 octobre 2016 pour 9h du matin. L'audience est levée.